if the doctor tell the truth to the patient first, the family will be very angry with the doctor. Welcome to Who Knows. Today I'm going to talk about one serious topic. It's about privacy in Chinese hospital. So when I study medicine in the college, you know, to respect the patient's privacy is really important. And actually we really know that all the time, but in the real life, it's not really happen like that. Um, I'm going to use three cases to explain to you. And first, every day when I'm busy working with a patient, the next patient who's supposed to be waiting outside always like to stand in the office watching me and listen to me. Because they don't want to wait. They think if they stand there, maybe the doctor can be hurry up and then will be his turn or her turn. Which is quite annoying because it means I can't, you know, keep my patient, which I'm seeing right now, piracy. Then they would know everything. And it doesn't matter how many times I'm, you know, ask them to wait outside, I will call them names soon. They would just still keep coming and stand there. Or, uh, or just, you know, pretend they are not listening, but actually they are listening. Even when I try to, you know, close the door, stop them coming they will still open the door by themselves so which is you know a little bit annoying and the uh, second situation it's about you know um, the surgeon you know last year when I have my surgeon I have to sign a lot of paper right but not just me my husband also have to sign some paper if I don't have uh, some relative or you know a friend to come to sign for me as well, just myself, I can't have a surgeon, which just means I have to tell my priority or you know something about my surgeon to someone. So of course I have my husband. That's not a big deal. But if someone they just single and you know don't want to let the parent worry or the relative worry, they can't have a surgeon, which is. I think it's quite ridiculous. And the third situation, it's about the cancer. You know, to have a cancer, it's really a bad news, right? So, you know, recently, like, um, something just happened in my family. So there's one of my uncle who just find out have esophageal cancer. But the thing is, you know, when the doctor find out about the cancer, he didn't tell to my uncle himself, but tell to my aunt and my cousin. And actually the doctor asked my cousin first, do you want me to tell the truth or not? And my cousin told to the doctor, don't tell the truth to her father. And it has been six months since they find out it's a terminal cancer, but my uncle still doesn't know. Um, I think why it will happen like this because in China, you know, the Chinese people think what really killed the cancer patient is not the cancer, but it's a worry. They think if you hide, it, hide this secret, maybe they will live longer. But if you, you tell them the truth, doesn't matter it's terminal or not, still will make them worry too much. So they think some, you know, some old generation. They even refuse to have a regular body check because they don't want to know the truth. They don't want to find out if they have some cancer. Then the worry will kill them sooner than the real disease. I think, you know, I, of course, I don't agree with that. That's why I force like uh, my parents to have a regular body check every year. But you can't change every every people's mind. I just still think it's quite unfair to, to the patient, but the culture is really like that. If we really talk to the patient themselves, the reality we piss off about the doctor because they think maybe it's a doctor because the doctor tell the truth to the patient, 
then the doctor killed the patient. I know it's a very serious subject this time, and it upsets me every day. I wish I can change it, but I can't. So, I hope you learned something, and see you next time.